welcome to the fourth annual CK's Innovation Expo. Innovation in healthcare is more than important, it's required. We're going to be talking about innovation, how to do it, how you can do it, and what is your responsibility to make it happen. What is innovation? Innovation is disrupting the status quo, changing the way we do things to ultimately help clinicians make patients' lives better. Doing something new, thinking outside the box, embracing change. To come up with an idea um, and then execute it in order to solve a problem. Innovation to me is probably accessibility. It's an idea with action that creates value. And the question is, what is value? Is it value to the patient, commercial value? If you want to be an innovator, your responsibility is to create the ecosystem of which that all happens. So kids were good at you know, disrupting and changing and, and trying something new. Certainly at Sick Kids, I feel as a manager, I'm supported to challenge innovation and think differently about things. I mean, we have a lot of different ways in which we can approach innovation. Well, having an expo like this, it really helps us to highlight what the hospital is doing to really enhance patient and family experience. And it really captures what the value of the hospital is. Everyone's very keen and definitely I think innovation is alive and well at Sick Kids. What we're all about is breaking down the technology silos that exist. Traditionally, the companies that deliver things like preoperative imaging or navigation systems or microscopy systems do not connect with each other. These are different companies delivering their own products. What we are driven to is to create a solution that the surgeon can work more efficiently, more effective with, and by doing that, it, it brings a benefit to the patient. Uh, virtual reality, as you know, has become very topical and it's the kids who've taken it on to see what level can we use it within clinical management of patients as well as doing research in it. The great thing about VR is that you can essentially create any environment without needing the huge costs and expense. And one other great advantage is that in an instance that our trainee can actually reload the whole scenario and it can start from zero or you can go to the exact spot where you made a mistake and start from there. It means it's cheaper, it's uh, easy to reproduce, and also you can learn as you go. We wanted to 3D print things so that we could iterate quickly and get prototypes out there to show to the clinicians. This is the, the raw material itself. It's, it's very squishy and flexible. We, we put in some metal wire inside to allow the fingers to, to stay in place. So you can grab objects, can put pressure on it. There's a notch here for the wrist and the glove gives the more realistic look. In future, maybe we could get away from using the glove completely because the glove is actually the most expensive component of this design. Like if you come up with one idea it can spawn another and another and another. For us, I think 3D printing really enabled us to come up with this design. We are taking a technology that itself has been disruptive to come up with something completely different. So what you have to do is pedal to navigate the character through the game. The point of the game is uh, to get children with cerebral palsy to exercise while playing video games. Uh, so we call it Extra Games, that's uh, for exercise-based video games. Uh, yeah, the kids find them to be very fun and engaging, and they want to come back and play them again. And the game that's on screen right now is Boodle Band, which is a game that you play with real physical instruments. So these games are all about getting kids moving, focusing on upper body movement, doing their therapy, but making it not feel like therapy. We're here today to show off our groundbreaking research in uh, storing physiological data and how it will accelerate research. We collect all the physiological bedside monitoring data from the cardiac and pediatric critical care unit into a centralized database that we can compress and store in a much more manageable size and then reconvert it to its original form to accelerate research going forward and be able to truly unlock the data. We want to be able to leverage that data set to make new innovations and new research steps we want to take all that research and leverage our system to push it to the bedside and be able to support clinicians in their decision-making process and provide them with um, information and insight into their patient's condition that they've never seen before. The Expo in general, I think it's a great uh, demonstration of how SickKids is really innovating and really pushing forward. We're really trying to affect change and we really see SickKids on the forefront of that.